So it is super early in the morning. Um, I don't know whether you can see, but I've got a table in my hand. Me being out on the streets of Hale super early in the morning with a table in my hand can only mean one thing. We are having another attempt at a sub three hour marathon this morning. Uh, it seemed like a really good idea when I mentioned it um, a few months ago, but it's gonna be an interesting morning. So Kieran, here we are again on a Sunday morning and we are trying to break three hours. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah awesome. Yeah, feeling excited and I'm ready to go and finally break that sub free barrier. Feeling confident? Today's the day. Today is the day. You heard that guys, today's <laughs> the day. So what, last time when we were out, what do you reckon? What was the, what was the issue? What do you feel went wrong? I think honestly, I was, uh, I was probably two or three long runs away. Maybe mentally my head wasn't in the right place. Okay. But I've been away. I've got some good training runs in since then. And awesome. Yeah, now I feel, I feel ready to finally do it. Yeah. And we got some wicked conditions. It's great, isn't it? Oh, couldn't ask for more. It's actually really mild and it is super still. There is no wind whatsoever. So it looks like the, uh, the weather gods have come to our aid, but we're just uh, just having a nice steady warm up around the loop. Get back to the shop, have a bit of a stretch, final preparations, and then we'll be ready to go. Obviously, it's still dark, so the first part of it's going to be in the dark, but it's all good. And uh, we'll see what happens. Right, that's the warm up done, and all we can say is. It's warm out there. My God, it's, I'm not going to need a hat, that's for sure. So I think we can ditch that. I'm not going to need a gilet. Whew, it's so mild. Amazing. Which is great, obviously. It's positive. Right, it is 6.40. We are ready to go. Kieran's outside, ready to roll. Um, we've had a good old stretch, good warm up, and uh, it's time to get it done. We are ready to go in three, two, one, go. The plan is we're going to hit the first four miles bang on sub three hour pace. And then we're going to gradually progress with pace all the way up to sort of 16, 17, 18 miles. Hopefully by then we'll have a bit of time in the bag and then we'll just have a nice little jog to the finish. <laughs> so simple this uh, sub three hour marathon time. So simple, but nice and steady to begin with. And we're gonna build the order all the way to that finish line. So first challenge we gotta deal with is I'm pacing and my watch isn't working. So it could be an issue. There's always gonna be challenges on running a sub three hour marathon. I didn't think this would be one of them. <laughs> so luckily, we've got a spare watch at the shop. So we're gonna pick that up on the next loop. I think it's because I've been testing the other watch and this one's kind of gone to sleep. It's sort of restored all the factory settings. So it's not actually showing me any pace. 
which uh, really doesn't help when you're trying to pace. We're just coming up to 10K. We are 642, 645 average. So we're bang on pace. We've solved the watch issue. We now have a watch on both wrists. Uh, one's doing distance and one is doing pace. But we're doing good. Taking on some nutrition. Kieran's having a drink. We'll give you another update at half marathon. Half marathon check-in. We're looking good. Bang on average. About uh, 645 average. Taking on gels, hydrating, both moving well. That's one half marathon done. One more to go. Time to dig in. mile checkpoint not what I wanted I pulled out a 20 my glute was just giving me so much pain but Kieran was just out running me man I couldn't keep up with him he is running so strong he's on his own at the moment he's pacing it well though and then hopefully if I can stretch a bit I'll be back in for the last couple of miles get back round to the shot and then I'm with you come on come on what's your distance what's your distance Knee 23. Right, come on. Come on Pace-wise, what's your pace? Uh, That's it, now hold that, come on. Hold it, hold it, hold it, positive. You know, you've got to keep, you know, even when it's like that, you've got to still see it out. To come that far between now and back, probably. Yeah, I think mean, it's brilliant. I just think it's great that you've, got, you've dug in and you've got, you know, you've got it, you've got it done. You know, that's, that's the secret to marathon running and getting better at it is when you're suffering, suck it up and get to the finish, you know, and you'll learn so much from that. You know, you don't learn anything from stopping, you know. It just becomes a negative experience. This is now a positive experience because you PB. Yeah. If you'd have stopped, you'd have got nothing. No, well this is it. You know, all that effort, all that time. So we're we're chatting away because um, Kieran finished his marathon. Do you want to tell everybody what time he did, Kieran? Uh three oh one twenty five was it, so uh, a massive PB of yeah. six minutes, but not quite that sub three, but I mean so, I'm still, still so very close. Happy. So close. But he dug in, he absolutely laid everything out on the floor and give it everything he had. And that's that is all you can do with marathon running. So it's a top effort. Top effort. On a scale of uh, 1 to 10, how much did that last couple of miles? Uh, uh, 11. <laughs> he was loving it, he was, he was loving, he was loving his whole marathon experience in them last two miles. <laughs> I think I might have shouted a few expletives at him, but you know, 
I think so, one lady told you yeah, to calm down yeah. at one point. Actually, I got called. I got called a bully <laughs> at one point. Yeah. <laughs> You're a bit of a bully. She said. Uh, <laughs> Ouch. I'd. Uh, I'd like to say that was a pleasurable experience, and it was awesome seeing Kieran uh, run a PB. But oh, did I suffer? I've um, I've been having a bit of a glute issue over the last sort of month or so. In fact, since we did the last uh, sub three hour attempt, and uh, I've got this sort of trapped nerve thing going on in the glute. So whenever I run on tarmac, um, anything repetitive, it gets really tight and. I get like this shooting pain down my leg, which isn't that pleasant, but on the trails, it's fine where it's not so repetitive. So I knew today was gonna be tough um, and I really started to suffer at sort of half marathon. I think it was still a really positive experience for him. He really, really did dig deep at the end. Uh, I mean, he'd give it absolutely everything. He just couldn't physically run any quicker, but he held on. And to go 301, yeah, it is frustrating. Um, I actually did it a couple of times when I was trying to go sub three and it is frustrating, but it's still a massive PB, I think a six minute PB. So to do that in them kind of conditions where there's no race day adrenaline, there's no crowds to cheer you on, is a stellar effort, a really solid run. And again, it's just another learning experience. You know, that's what marathon running is all about. It takes a lot of marathon attempts to master the distance and then it still all comes down to on the day you can have good days you can have bad days and he was literally it was literally the last two miles that cost him i know one thing for sure tomorrow my legs are gonna hurt so it's gonna be a um, afternoon of stretching and rolling uh, and a bit of recovery lots of hydration lots of food get them calories back in um, but it, again it was great to be part of it it was great to push and push myself hard for 20 two miles or whatever I ran. Obviously, guided he didn't quite get that sub three, but again, still a really positive experience. And it was so good um, after the last attempt that he made, you know, the disappointment and, you know, and pulling out, it was so good to see him really dig in and give it everything, you know, and that's all you can ask for. At the end of the marathon, it's gonna hurt. You've just got to dig in, suck it up and get on with it. And, and that's exactly what he did. Um, so top, top effort. Oh. Oh. My hamstrings are so tight. I actually ran today in the endorphin speed. It was the first real proper sort of long run at marathon pace. It was wicked. You know, this is a wicked shoe. Actually, after the, the last um, virtual London marathon, I ran in the Alpha Flies. <laughs> About a week later, I got rid of them. I sold them. That shoe did not work for me. It was just too stiff, I think, from that carbon plate. And I actually had a few plantar fascia issues um, for a couple of weeks after that virtual London. No issues in this at all. It felt super comfy, really good energy return. And I think because it's a TPU plate, it just is a little bit more flexible than the carbon plate for me. And I think it just works better, but great test for the shoe. It performed really well. Also, I don't know whether you're noticing, but I'm actually filming on the new GoPro 9. I don't know whether you're noticing any difference in the picture quality but I've also got it hooked up to a media mod. So you can clip it into a media mod and that gives you an external microphone, like a shotgun microphone that you can put a wind diffuser on and you can attach lights and lots of other accessories. I really think it's made a massive difference. I think the picture quality is better. The colors just look better. And as far as that shotgun mic, I mean, the audio is just a massive improvement. I think it's a game changer. I used to spend a lot of time when I was out filming, sort of sheltering down to try and avoid the wind because it would always muck up the audio. Uh, this external mic with the wind diffuser is gonna make my life a damn sight easier when I'm filming. So I need to say a massive thank you to my wife because the GoPro 9 was actually a birthday present from her. So I think it's gonna make a massive difference in the quality of our videos, especially when it comes to audio. Mm. Always feel better after a cup of coffee. Thanks for coming down, John, and bringing the coffees. Awesome, mate, much appreciated. Let's get packed up and we will head off home and start oh, the recovery process. Oh, stiff as a board. Right, let's sort all this out. These are definitely gonna come in handy later. I think it's gonna be pretty painful, but they're gonna come in handy.
Right, so that's everything done, packed away, sorted out. We are heading off home. Hope you enjoyed uh, another sub three hour attempt video. And also I hope you watched our previous video that we uploaded on the channel. It was our last episode in the bucket list series, ultra marathon episode, but definitely watch the video to the end because at the end of the video, there's the details of how to enter our giveaway extravaganza for hitting 10,000 subs. We just wanted to say thank you to all the people that have followed the channel and helped us reach that milestone. It means so much to us. And there is some amazing prizes up for grabs. Get entered, get in the mix, um, have a chance of winning some of them awesome prizes. As always, like and subscribe guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video. And as always, stay safe and keep on running.